my dad, uh, my dad was an amazing man, was never wealthy. But every Monday, he, and during the summer, he'd get a five gallon can of gas. And he'd put his lawnmower in the trunk, or that ni 1952 Plymouth. And he'd drive around the town we lived in to see what yards needed to be mowed. And he would get out, pull out that old lawnmower, wrap the rope around the drive shaft, start it, and he'd mow the grass of people he did not know. And he wouldn't tell them who he was. And then he would take Sundays and go to a nursing home to visit with people. And then when my dad got later in life, he helped 23 young people go to college. So this has been my experience. And I, I believe that philanthropy is great for those who benefit from the gift, but it's better for the person who makes the gift. And what a great joy to work every day in asking people to join us in something that's noble. And you know, that requires a couple things of us. One, it does require integrity. But secondly, it demands excellence of us. We ought to be really good at what we do and asking people to join us in something that's noble. And that demands that we're people of integrity. Every dime ought to be used as we said it was going to be used. We need to report back what we have done, what we've achieved. When you think about uh, in this world where there's so many shysters and, and people are dishonest, integrity in this industry is really important. I believe in that. I believe there are two types of people. There are those who accumulate wealth because they're terminal accumulators of wealth. It's all about themselves, nicer car, bigger house. And then there are those people that are instrumental accumulators. They accumulate wealth to do something with it, to make a difference. And that's what's great about this industry. We get to find those people and work with them.